Boston Bros is number one thing not. You're dead wrong. You can catch me doing Miss McKinney with my prodders on. It's real boxing talk every time we meet with Ned, the TBE, and Conspiracy G. We bring it to you raw, on bias. You know the deal. You can even get a poor dealy here from Dollar Bill with my guys by my side. You know we going live. All we need you to do is please like and subscribe. Boxing Bros. Peace. Next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is the WBA. The WBA has designated Manny Pacquiao champion in recess. So, as you can see, here's an article from ABC News. So, champion in recess just means the champion is in recess. The champion is basically inactive. So, Manny Pacquiao is the inactive WBA super champion. And they elevated... Uh, Udenis Ugas to being the WBA active super champion. So it basically means champion in recess is inactive champion, and then there's an active champion. So now that Ugas is the active champion, he is the champion. So he can fight someone, and he'll be the champion. If the person beats him, that person will become the champion. Once Manny Pacquiao goes from inactive and he wants to become active again, he will fight who was ever currently the active champion at the moment to become the champion again. So at the moment, there's two champions, one active, Ugas, one inactive, Manny Pacquiao. And once Manny Pacquiao becomes active again, he'll have to fight whoever is the active champion so they can become one champion again. Okay. All right. With that being said, uh, Slippery G, what's your thoughts on uh, Manny Pacquiao being uh, designated champion in recess by the WBA? Hey, man, that's cool with me. And the reason why is because for the longest, man, I've been like, hey, Ugas, man, just stay in there. You're going to get your shine sooner or later. And now he has the opportunity to fight. Huge name. He can get now a Spence fight. If he goes through Spence, he can get a Pacquiao fight. Man, salute to Boston Bulls, Cuba. This is what I needed to see because Ugas is like one of my favorite 147 uh, Um, He's always like his, his, like to me, the way he fights, like I like the Cuban style and I like the, the dig deep. He never gives up, you know, and I just felt like a lot of dudes was ignoring him, like not picking those fights with him because everyone could be like, oh, he doesn't have a strap. He doesn't have this. He doesn't have that. Now that he got a strap, he just got bumped up to super. So now Earl can make that fight, get it with Earl. Then when Pacquiao comes back, if Ugas beats um, Spence, get it with um, Pacquiao. Those are some huge fights, huge paydays. And, and I think it's well-deserved for Ugas. So I'm actually cool with it. And I'm not mad at Manny Pacquiao for um, you know going for the Ryan Garcia route. He's going for the bag. Shout out to WBA. Um, for not stripping um, Manny, you know, I think this is a great option actually like to just put him in recess. But let's just say, Hey, while you're doing your Ryan Garcia thing, you know, when you come back to, 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 to being a real champion, then you could fight whoever got the belt currently. Then that could be Ugas or it could be Earl Spence. So I think this is beautiful for, for the um, welterweight division, you know? Um, and, I mean, it, I'm thinking about TC, but we're going it, somewhere else right now. Yeah, hey, I'm not even going to do it to myself. Yeah, I'm just going to say. I think we have other segments. That yeah, hey, I'm, I'm going to stay where I'm at. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm done. I'm done. Flip flopping G and bouncing everywhere G. All right, oh uh, Ned. Uh, I say this. Shout out to the WA, WBA for pulling the right move. Well, yeah, is the WBO that was the one that um. Stop um that let Joshua fight. Yeah. Well, shout, shout, shout out to the sanction of bodies for making smart decisions. Cause now you know you're doing good things for boxing. You know, now we get to see people fight for this belt, or you know, we we had Spencer's in the talks. Yeah, I mean it's Spence get get this strap, then it's Spence Pacquiao on the table. It looking like somebody's gonna be left out in 2021. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And <laughs> But that that's dope, yo. And you know, Pat Man, he gets to go handle his business and side ventures. And then you know, when he get back to boxing, we get a great fight. And that's pretty dope. I can't complain with this at all. This is just this is just 
the sanctioning body. Wait, is not did you just say the side ventures? Like you know, oh, you, okay. you I thought you said something else. else. I thought you said something else. <laughs> I was about to hit you with a disclaimer, dog. Yeah. I thought you said something else. I thought you said side the B word. I was about to hit you with a back <laughs> on the plane. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, hey. Nah, nah. You know, Pam go handle his business. And then um we get back to box and we get a big fight on our hands, yo. So you know, 2021 got a lot in store for us, baby. <laughs> All right, dog, busy. WBA, you know what I'm saying? They wanted to take they, their belt back from one of the biggest stars in boxing. This is what I think happened. But they didn't want to upset the great Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> so they was like, this is what we're going to do, champ. Y'all both going to be champions, but you get to keep the belt at your house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, that's basically what it is, you know? You to be the champ when you come back, you know what I'm saying? And you get, like, um, it's crazy. So basically what it is is Ugas is the email champion, which I don't think <laughs> that should have happened. You know what I'm saying? I think <laughs> he wore hard for that that promotion. You know yeah, I, I think that he should have been <laughs> had to fight uh either a boots or even a thurman for that vacant WBA belt. You know what I'm saying? Um just, just giving somebody the because the, the other guy is busy and got things going on. I get it. Pacquiao could do whatever he wants, and I'm with it. Pacquiao, you want fighting whenever you want to fight, do whatever you want. You deserve it. You know what I'm saying, champ? You deserve to do whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like Uga should have to fight for that belt. Enough with giving these guys this belt through, through the mail. You know what I'm saying? There's other guys who's sitting around waiting for a fight. Thurman's sitting around waiting for a fight. They on the same team. And it was Thurman's belt. It was Thurman's belt before Pacquiao. Exactly, yeah. You, exactly. And you got kids like uh, Boots sitting there waiting. You know what I'm saying? So there's other guys that I think that he can fight for the belt. And I'm not even mad at the WBC. Whenever Pacquiao feels like coming back and wanting to fight for that belt, he should have the option. So, yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> also, if the WA would have stripped or made – Pacquiao vacate, that would have been a great hoodie moment, yo. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> they wasn't going to do that. They wasn't going to vacate. They was not going to upset the great man. Pacquiao. <laughs> 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 nah, what I think is just basically they knew they would get a lot of backlash from stripping <laughs> Manny, so they weren't going to strip Manny. Also, Manny's bigger than the belt, like, so it wouldn't even matter if they took the belt from him. Um, so what they did was they made him champion in recess because you really want Manny to have your belt if he's going to fight. Um, but I think the other thing they did was um, they forced Manny to have to fight someone that's notable in order to keep the belt. See, I think that's what they wanted to do. So, for example, he's champion in recess. So let's say when he decides to become active, if Ugas is holding the belt, or Spence, or one of those guys, he's going to have to fight one of those guys. So they they assure themselves that he's going to have to take a dangerous fight in order to get the title back. And so it's basically, what does the belt mean to Manny? So now Manny is in a position where he's like, I can always fight for this belt if I want it again, but if not, I can just keep doing whatever I want to do. And they're in a position where they can still keep moving on and letting people fight. Oh, I do agree with Trill. I don't like giving the belt away. Why would you give the belt to someone? See, like when you give the belt to someone, it's like they get to say that they were champion, but people are going to be like, you never won the belt. And then like, you know, let's say Ugas loses the belt in his first defense. People are going to be like, you were never really champion. You never won that belt. It was given to you. And then you, so um, I think Thurman, versus Ugas would have been the right thing to do. Thurman lost the belt to Manny Pacquiao. If you're going to make Manny Pacquiao champion in recess, get a man a chance to get the title back. You you want Ugas that you think Ugas is the number one guy, number one contender, so make it Thurman versus Ugas. That would have been a great fight. Whoever won would have earned the strap, right? And then would have earned like like Manny, you got to when you come back, you got to fight one of these guys because they earned it when they fought each other. 
Now Manny comes back like, you yeah, gave him the belt. He never took it from me, never took it from anyone. <laughs> Everyone knows. So um, I just think, like, I'm okay with it, but I don't like the fact that you just gave the belt to someone. Like, you should, um, you know, make people fight for the belt. And that's what I think. Because otherwise, it's just like, who makes the decision as to who gets the belt and then why? And then you start getting in these politics and then it just gets messy. Make people fight for the belt. I'm totally with that. Let us know how you feel in the comment section and please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter and check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros.